So Pouring Nation, today I'm going to show you how I leveled up my pouring game and saved myself so much setup and takedown time. Now tell me if this isn't you. You do your pours on a random table in a craft room, you do pours on the kitchen table, you do pours on the floor of your garage, you have to get out your mats, you have to get out your plastic, get all your paints, get ready, mix them up, level your canvases to make sure they're your painting surface to make sure everything's right. You do your pour and then you spend twice as much time cleaning up. Nobody wants to do that. So uh, about a year ago I created a pouring container which is this container right here that I've been using ever since. This saved me so much time and money. I now can come in, mix up my paints, put my canvas on, do my painting, I actually have a one si single place where I do all my, I let all my paint pours dry, which is a, a Lolly Vifi uh, silicone mat. So I just put them on under my table here, and then I can do another painting. If my paints are already sealed up, I just shut the lid and put them down. If I need to paint, uh, put new painting, I create them in these silicone containers and then clean those out. But this saves me so much setup time and cleanup time because I can just let the paint sit there, it dries, and then I just, I have my little tweezers here and I just pick it out from my container, throw it in the garbage. So much time saved and I can paint more, set up less. And I know you guys want to do that and I'm going to show you how to do it for under 10 bucks. So. You're going to go to Lowe's, Home Depot, someplace like that, either online or in the store, and you're going to buy, go to the cement department or the, the roofing department, and you're going to find their mixing tubs. They sell these mixing tubs. This one right here is 24 inches by 18 inches, I believe it is. And this works perfectly. It's got a nice shiny surface. If you leave your paint on this surface, it will just dry and you can just rip it like a, right up like you saw me do here. And it fits a 16 by 20 canvas. Fits right in, right in here. You don't have a lot of extra room, but it'll fit right there and you can definitely pour that and, and have all your waste paint go into the pouring container. Now the secret to a pouring container is you want the container to be flat. This container sitting on a flat surface is flat. You can see right there, it's, it's flat. So as long as I put it on a surface that's flat, I'm now gonna have a level place to pour. And if you're on a table or something in your front room, you can just pull this out, put it down, level your container, either with pieces of cardboard or paper or something under the corners, make that level, and then your paintings are automatically gonna be level. Now with this, you need something to you need a crossbar of some sort to put your painting on. The cheapest thing that I've found that is straight, and this is very important, that is straight, is half inch PVC pipe. These, you can buy them at a home improvement store, they're like $1.50 a piece, and they fit right on your pouring container. You can put them on, put your pour on top, do your pour, and you're golden. This, this is level as long as your pouring container is level. Now, um, this is definitely the cheapest way to go. These do roll, as you can see here, so you need to make sure that you are very careful with that, or you can super glue these to the container. You can drill a hole and put a bolt in. You can just screw, drill a tiny hole and use a coarse threaded screw to just go into your pouring container so it doesn't move around. You can buy four of them if you want more, but still under 10 bucks you now have a quick and easy way to paint without the cleanup and the teardown. You just can't lose there. You will have so much more time to paint and less time doing the stuff that you don't enjoy. Now, if you want to level up your game, you can actually get a larger bin than this one. Now, this bin is 36 inches by 24 inches, much bigger. Just for comparison, quite a bit bigger. It, this is actually wider than the pouring container that I use and not quite as long, but I never use the whole length of my pouring container. So this one's excellent and these fit perfectly for this also because they're 
um, 24 inches, it fits end to end. You got plenty of room, same thing, you can drill that in. And the 16 by 20 has tons of room around on this one. Second thing to level up your game is this, these, while cheap, are kind of hard to keep straight and uh, kind of a pain to pop down. Another thing that I've, I've used is just some cheap clamps. They have clamps like this that are a dollar at Home Depot. You can just put the clamp on, clamp that down on both sides and it's not going anywhere. So that's a cheap way where you don't need a screw, you don't need any special equipment, you're just buying a clamp. The second thing is also at a home improvement store in the um, organization section where they have the uh, closet organizers and things like that. They have these bars, also 24 inches. They are exactly straight. They're flat on top. They're not gonna roll around. They are, these are the exact length that you want for this 24 inch wide container. It's got a hole on both sides and that hole fits exactly on the container. You could put screws in there and you're done. Now these cost about $4, four dollars, four fifty, so it's a little bit more expensive. This only costs thirteen dollars, so eight dollars for this, thirteen dollars for this, twenty-one dollars, unless you want some extras, and you can have a massive pouring container. So the only other tip that I'd have for you is if you pour on something like this, and you don't have a place to put your paintings so they can dry, you either want to put silicone. You know, buy a one of those $5 silicone mats from, from um, Bed Bath & Beyond or Amazon or something like that. Cut little strips, super glue it or hot glue it to this so that the paint lays on this and then you can just pull your painting off. Otherwise, your painting sticks. For example, if I had this, I did a painting, I let it dry on this, it would stick to this and it would be a pain to get off. Um, and I have actually on mine, I left it for a little bit too long and ripped some of the canvas. So that's one thing you need to worry, look out for, but like I say, a 24 inch placemat that's silicone, cut that into strips, glue it on top, and then your paint's not gonna stick at all. Now I can't tell you how much more fun pouring is when I don't have 20 minutes of setup on the beginning and 20 minutes of cleanup at the end. I have no minutes of setup, mix my paints, do my pouring, move it to somewhere that it can dry, and five minutes of cleanup and I'm done. And I can pour again, I can pour over and over. It is a game changer. And like I say, you can do it for $10 for the small version, $20 for the larger version. You can start with a smaller version, maybe sell a couple paintings and then purchase the, sec the larger version. You will be so thankful that you do it. If you haven't seen my videos before, welcome. If you're returning, thank you for watching the video. If this is the type of content you like, please subscribe, hit the bell notification to get notified when we have our weekly videos, and hit the like as that helps YouTube distribute this video to other acrylic pouring artists. In addition, what do you guys pour on? Let us know in the comments below what you use as a pouring container or where you pour. See if we can't get some ideas and together get better at acrylic paint pouring and save you money save you time, and get you to making amazing art.